Good Monday morning, Kennedy Dragons. We're so glad that you are here. I am Mr. Butcher, and it's my job to keep you safe so that you can show us how excellent you can be. We hope you left your average in the car and on, or on the bus, and you're ready to have a respectful and responsible day. Uh, one of our responsibilities is to be ready to show our respect for the rights that we have in our country and in the school. We do that by daily saying the pledge to the flag, as well as our school pledge. When we do this, we stand up tall, we put our hands over our hearts like this, we say the pledge loudly, clearly, and with pride. Don't worry if you don't know it yet, you should be getting it a little bit, but just listen and try to follow along. Trust me, you'll get it in no time. Leading us in the pledge today is Ms. Fortson and Ms. Raftery. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I will be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all others I meet throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I will work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Please take a moment to reflect silently on our day, our activities, and what we hope to accomplish. Another one of our responsibilities is to help keep ourselves and others uh, safe. One way we can do that is by frequently washing our hands throughout the day. And so when we wash our hands, we want to make sure that we're using soap and water or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. We want to make sure that we're washing all parts of our hands, and we want to make sure that we're doing it for at least 20 seconds so we can keep those germs away. So let's go ahead and model it right now. Get yourself some hand sanitizer. Oh, I got a lot today. All right, let's go. Getting the fronts of our hands, two, three, four, five. Get the back of the hand, two, three, four. Five, get the back of the other hand, two, three, four, five. Get in between your fingers, two, three, four, five. The important part, the fingertips, two, three, four, five. Get the other fingertip, two, three, four, five. Get your thumb, two, three, four, five. The other thumb, two, three, four, five. And then your wrist, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. And then make sure they're all nice and now that we have gotten our pledges and our hand washing and our moment of silence out of the way, let's show respect for those that have birthdays today. A lot of, birth a lot of birthdays today. Happy birthday to Mason Logan, who's 10, Leah Parsons, who's 8, Chevy Triplett, who's 7, Riley Smith's 5, uh, Jontez Bailey is 9, Allison Funes, Funes, I think, is 8, and Miss Simpson has a birthday today. Happy birthday to you guys that have birthdays. Oh, another responsibility that we have in the morning is to make our lunch choice. If you haven't already made your lunch choice, the choice is chicken sandwich, lettuce, tomato, pickle, sidewinder fries, fruit, sherbet. If you do not want the chicken sandwich, you can always get yogurt and muffin or the PB&J. Uh, one of our goals this year is to increase our vocabulary. One way we do that is by using pictures to help us come up with words and use different parts of speech. Uh, here's our picture from last week. You can see that alligator with the bird in it. Um, on Friday, we were looking for prepositional phrases. Uh, we had two classes participate, Mr. McCoy and Ms. Ham's class, and we had lots of prepositional phrases. Uh, remember, prepositional prepositions are words that describe a or use uh, show a relationship between two nouns. So, the bird is searching between the gator's teeth. The gator is lurking among the weeds. My prayers, I love this one. My prayers are with the bird if one move goes wrong. So those are from Mr. McCoy. And then we gotta hear how the story ends from Miss Ham's class. So here we go. As the crocodile opened his mouth, he let out an earthquake-sized burp from the bottom of his belly. The birds were flung away from the jungle all the way to China. One little bird escaped the burp and crawled on top of the crocodile's head. They became friends for life. The end. Epilogue. The China birds opened their own wild animal teeth cleaning business after landing in their new home. Excellent job, Miss Ham's class. All right, so here is our new picture of the week. Our new picture of the week. Remember, we're going to be looking for nouns. We're going to be looking for verbs. We're going to be looking for adjectives, adverbs, prepositions. So 
Today, we're just looking at it, and here's what our picture looks like for this one. All right, Monday's morning message is on character, integrity, and kindness. Listen up. This book title is really funny. Always wear clean underwear and other parents, other ways parents say I love you. In it, Rabbi Mark Gelman writes that one reason parents tell you to wear clean underwear is so that they want you to learn the very important lesson in life. So what's the lesson? What people don't see about you should be as good as what people do see about you. In other words, it's just as important to look good on the inside as it is to look good on the outside. Actually, it may be even more important, don't you think? Choose to do things that make you look good on the inside. Be kind to others. Be honest and be the best that you can be. Can, can be. Then look really good. Then you'll look really good on the inside as well as the outside. There's something to think about on Mr. Butcher make today your masterpiece or not. Remember the choice is yours. And that is so true. What's inside is what really matters. If you're dressed really awesome and you look great but you treat people terribly, people aren't going to think you're that. They're not going to care about what clothes you're wearing or what you look like. Treat people with kindness. That is all we have for announcements, so please help me. Me and your teachers keep you safe. That is our job. And your job is to help us keep you safe. And you can help us by being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student focused on graduation, you, you are, are boldly committed to student, student success. success. I love you very much. Have a great day. All right, it's time for our read aloud of the day. Today is book is called Sophie Johnson, Unicorn Expert. It's written by the author is Morag Hood. The illustrator is Ella Oxstad. Uh, author is the person that wrote the words, and the illustrator is the person that drew the pictures. All right, as I read, I'm going to try to model what good readers do, which is to read fluently, meaning I read the words correctly at a good pace. Not too fast, not too slow, and if I make mistakes, I want to go back and correct them, and I want to use expression. As I read, make sure that you guys are modeling what good listeners do. Uh, listen for the story elements, the character, who or what the story's about, the setting, where and when the story's taking place, the sequence of events, what happens first, next, last. Also, look for the problem and the solution and what happens in that. So, Sophie Johnson, Unicorn Expert. My name is Sophie Johnson, and I live with a unicorn. Well, not just one, actually. I think I have 17 at the moment. It can be hard work looking after so many. There's always a lot to do. Luckily, I am a unicorn expert. I'm very busy teaching my unicorns everything they need to know. We start with magic. Then I show them how to hunt for food. And I teach them about the dangers of balloons. They get in the way of their horns. Sometimes my unicorns lose their horns. But I don't worry because they soon grow back. Living with unicorns can be tricky. They're quite messy. I try to explain that magic is more important than mess, but I don't think my mom understands. Unicorns have many enemies, so sometimes I have to protect them. Being a unicorn expert is harder than you'd think. Really, it's a good thing I'm here. Some people don't even know what a real unicorn looks like. That's why they need me, Sophie Johnson, unicorn expert. And that was Sophie Johnson, unicorn expert. 
It was in the book fair. 